Occupiers are in agony, Ukrainian army announced surprises for Russians near Ocheretine. An Ukrainian army forces officer noted that the Ukrainian military is preparing pleasant surprises for the Russian occupiers in the area of Ocheretine settlement in the Donetsk region. The Russian occupiers do not have sufficient forces and resources for a full-scale offensive in the Ocheretine area. The situation in this direction remains under the control of the Ukrainian defense forces. Serhii Tsekotsky, an officer of the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade, named after Yakov Ganziuk, reported this on Espresso. Russian propaganda always shouts ahead. Someone steps foot somewhere, accidentally runs in, and they are already shouting that they have captured the place. Fighting continues in the Ocheritine area. The situation is under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. Pleasant news awaits the occupiers in this direction, Sekotsky emphasized. In addition, the officer noted that the Russian occupation forces do not have enough forces to carry out a large-scale offensive operation. The enemy is using large numbers of aircraft, artillery and drones. The enemy has been agonizing, especially in recent days. They closely monitor what is happening in the world and understand what awaits them, added Tsekotsky. Pavlo Diachenko, acting head of the communications department of the Donetsk Region Police, announced on Hromadsky Radio that in Ocheretine, Donetsk region, due to constant shelling, the humanitarian situation is difficult. The Russians are hitting with all possible types of weapons. Solid ruins, everything is on fire, high-rise buildings are destroyed to their foundations, and the private sector is very badly damaged. A complex humanitarian situation caused by constant shelling. The shelling does not stop. The Russians hit with everything they can, with different calibers, mortars, anti-tank guns. Last Saturday, the crew of the White Angels carried out the evacuation of an injured man. Here, you need to do everything very quickly. There is just pure horror. As soon as they provided help, they began to carry them to the car. The artillery arrived. Shelling was going through the settlement from the left, from the right. The shelling was simply unbelievable, said the police representative. According to him, there are no conditions to put out fires after shelling, because in such a situation, it is impossible to drive the equipment so that the experts of the state emergency service arrive in one or two units and provide assistance. The United States is poised to send a $1 billion in new military aid package for Ukraine, U.S. officials said on Tuesday. The aid package is the first tranche from about $61 billion allocated for Ukraine. Speaking on condition of anonymity, U.S. officials said some of the weapons would be delivered very swiftly to the front line, adding that it could take longer for other items to arrive. The announcement comes after Biden's comments on Monday during the call with Volodymyr Zelensky that the U.S. would send the much-needed air defense weapons once the Senate approved the bill. It includes much-anticipated ammunition, including air defense munitions and large amounts of artillery rounds as well as armored vehicles and other weapons. Weapons and ammunition in the new aid package include RIM-7 and AIM-9M missiles for air defense, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, small arms and additional rounds of small arms ammunition, including 0. 50 caliber rounds to counter unmanned aerial systems, UAS, additional ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, 155mm artillery rounds, including high-explosive and dual-purpose improved conventional munitions rounds, 105mm artillery rounds, 60mm mortar rounds, Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicles, Mine-Resistant Ambush Protected Vehicles, Humvees, Logistics Support Vehicles, Tactical Vehicles to Tow and Haul Equipment, Tube-Launched, Optically Tracked, wire-guided missiles, javelin and at four anti-armor systems, precision aerial munitions, airfield support equipment, anti-armor mines, claymore anti-personnel munitions, demolitions munitions for obstacle clearing, and night vision devices, spare parts, field equipment, training munitions, maintenance, and other ancillary equipment. It should be noted that the United States has so far committed over $44.9 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the beginning of the Biden administration.